Hi, I'm Scott Hanselman, and um, you may know me from my YouTube video, the Missing Windows 8 instructional video. One of the things that people complain about when they're thinking about Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 is that they think that it's only for touch screens. They think it's only for tablets. The machine that I'm using right here has a mouse and a keyboard. You can see me moving my mouse, and I'll use just my keyboard. And I want to talk a little bit about some of the hotkeys and keyboard usage that can make a Windows 8 person very, very productive. Now when I hit my buttons you're going to notice a uh, little pop-up in the corner there and that's going to show you the hotkeys that I'm pressing. I'm just pressing some hotkeys here and uh, that hopefully will give you a sense of what I'm doing with my keyboard. That's a little application called Karnak. Now in Windows 8 and 8.1 the Windows key, this is the key between the control and alt buttons on your keyboard switches you back and forth between the desktop and the start screen. So I'm just hitting window, I'm not hitting anything else. When I hit window D, that takes me back to the desktop. Windows D, D for desktop. Windows E brings up the Explorer, lets me look at my files. And then a universal keyboard shortcut that we've all used for years, at least those of us that are techies, is Alt F4, and Alt F4 will close almost any window. Now, in Windows 7, 8, and 8.1, there's been a taskbar when you're in desktop mode. And a little known shortcut key is that window plus the number of the icon on your taskbar will open it. So, for example, this is the first icon after the start menu. So if I hit Window 1, that opens File Explorer. This is the third, there's Internet Explorer, so if I go Window 3, that just opened Internet Explorer. I can rearrange these, like I could make Chrome, I'm just dragging it, I could make it second, so now Window 2 opens up Chrome. This is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, seventh, that's going to open my DOS box, because that's how I chose to line that up myself. And then I'll go ahead and close each of those. When you already have something open, like here I've got ex uh, Explorer, I can click on it and it'll minimize. Click on it again, it'll come back. If I hit Window 1 over and over, it's just minimizing and uh, restoring. But I can also hold down the Shift key and click. So now I have two. So I'm holding down Shift, I'm clicking here, and now I've got three. Now window one, because again it's the first icon, task switch. It's kind of like alt tab, except now I'm task switching between one open application. And then I can right click and say close all windows and then they'll all go away. The same thing would apply if I had browser windows. Now no matter what browser you're using, whether it's Chrome or IE or Firefox, if you open up multiple tabs, you can usually do that with Control T, Control T, Control T. And then I can close those tabs or windows with Control W, Control W, Control W, Control W. And if the very last tab is there, Control W will close the window itself. Two other good uh, hotkeys for a little bit more advanced users would be Window X, which brings up a power user menu down here in the lower left corner including this very nice little Windows 8.1 tip, shut down or sign out. This menu here for Window X, Window X brought that up, can also be brought up by right clicking on the start button and I can do all sorts of advanced things like my disk management but most importantly shut down or sign out from right there. The last one would be Windows R. Windows R brings up a run dialog and again for advanced people I could do something like calc and hit enter, but I don't recommend that people type Windows R because I could just press the Windows button and then from my start screen just type calc. And I have a choice between my desktop calculator where I hit Windows again and my full screen touch friendly calculator. Again I'll press Windows D to go back to my desktop and those are some of the hotkeys that will make you a much, much better Windows user. And I do encourage you to check out my 25-minute training video. Go ahead and just Google for Windows 8 
moved my cheese and uh, it's got a lot of details on some of the changes between Windows 7 and Windows 8 and I encourage you to check it out as well as my new Windows 8.1 window manipulation video where I talk about managing windows dealing with full screen applications and desktop applications. Thanks for watching.